In the first 11 videos of our Merit or Myth journey, we visited with farmers and researchers East River to West River about surface residue, the result of minimum disturbance or no-till systems. Dr. Dwayne Beck articulates the benefits of surface residue to the soil. Ralph Holtzworth discusses the building up of organic matter in his soils. While Al Miron explains why surface residue can rapidly disappear in his no-till system. And Dick and Chris Nissen, like Ralph, Al and other no-tillers, have become experts over time in planting into residue. In a comparison of no-till and conventional till systems at SDSU's Beresford Station, Dr. Pete Sexton told us that over time, there's really no difference between no-till and conventional till yields, but that no-till costs are demonstrably lower. Dave Olila alludes to the fact that no-till is more than just the equipment. The no-till drill and the sprayer are important tools in the system. But it's not the tools, it's the farmer's mindset that makes the difference. Dr. Randy Anderson provides a capstone to our series of residue because surface residue through the practice of no-till is the foundation of soil health and it gives the farmer the impetus and freedom to move to other regenerative practices. For those of you that may be pondering a change to no-till, we trust that this material gives you food for thought. So, farming without tillage and with surface residue not only is possible, it works. Merit or myth? You decide.